y'all, Little Flix here, and welcome back to Veronica Mars. Today we're watching the 20th episode. We're getting so close. Um, this episode's called something. What is it called? Well, M-A-D, but MAD. Maybe it's an acronym or something and thing, but yeah, we'll see. I literally just watched the last episode, and I literally just stopped it recording from... <laughs> Um, when I said my outro. So not much has really changed from my perspective of it so far. Um, I think I will just get into it straight away because I don't really know what to expect from that title apart from the fact that I think we should be sticking a lot with um, finding out more about the case and hopefully seeing more Logan and Veronica in time and I don't know how her dad's gonna react to that if she tells him or he sees them so <laughs> that will be probably a, a funny daughter father moment. Hopefully this episode though we do find out um, about the maternity test that he was doing by taking um, their hairs so I'm hoping for that. But without further ado let's just get into it. This is episode 20. What is happening? Oh her car broke down. Someone's got her eye on that Miss White Trash title. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. The talent is making a grilled cheese sandwich on the engine block. Guys, come on. I think I can do both sides of this little act now. <laughs> I think he's falling in love with her for every little passing moment. <laughs> well, that's it. We kind of did stand up for her, which is nice. A two year relationship down the toilet. I'm not liking this conversation already. It's over. Something you should see. You're not gonna change my mind. Oh my god, he's blackmailing her with like pictures or something. <laughs> That's disgusting. It almost sounds more like a sex tape. I think he filmed you without you knowing, actually. I must have been wasted. I would never do something like that. Totally disgusting. It is disgusting that he's using that against you as blackmail. What is wrong with people? Ah! That is. Ugh, that's just so wrong on so many levels. Jeez. Anyway, Veronica would teach him a lesson. I'm, I'm sure of it. I need you to get me that phone, Veronica. You can do that, can't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bank on it. Oh, gosh. Bathroom makeout sessions. This is escalating so quickly. Oh, my God. Get her. Oh, my God. Get her, room, guys. Tardy excuse slips. Date stamped. Untraceable. <laughs> oh, my God. See, it pays off to know Veronica. Fence, but you look odd. I just watched our parents cuddle on the couch last night. <laughs> My eyes, they burn. <laughs> I'm wondering if she's going to tell him about Logan. I think she should with their BFFs before he hears it from anyone else or catches them. He can keep a secret. She should tell him. Not at school, but she should tell him. You mind calling this number halfway through six period? Sure, all right. <laughs> they don't exist? Deal. It's all no way, and he was like, yeah way. I'm so sorry. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Call it symbiosis. That literally means living together. Mm, she's gonna take his phone. <laughs> Wait, this isn't mine. Mm. <laughs> you can't just go, mm. Mars. Ah, uh, reputation precedes you by the sounds of it. Information on the whereabouts of Duncan Kane. 50 grand. Money for nothing. That's your first two years right there. So they're gonna try and track it. Be him. as easy as you think. Tell them. That's use what it cash. was. Don't use credit card. Don't use your own car. You know the basics. Something about recycling passports on eBay. <laughs> Veronica. But hi, Miss Fennell. <laughs> Where are you going? Out. <laughs> Why don't you get started on that passport? They are to a hotel, I think. Let's be honest. <laughs> Just because we got the phone doesn't mean the video's dead. Sure. You gotta Copies. know it's impossible to destroy a digital file with any kind of certainty. Just destroy the whole phone. Why not? It's a message from Top Gun. Is that him? It's dead. Yep. What do you say? Nice try, and he's got it there. Isn't the uh, gay prom next Friday in the Dog Beach Men's Room? So I guess I'll see you there, Sailor. <laughs> Prom is supposed to be for oh, traditional couples, man. Oh, come on. What's more traditional than fairies and fat chicks? Fuck off. <laughs> I really don't like people being very insensitive about other people. That's why I was very angry then. I don't think I need to explain myself either. So let's just move on. 788. Oh, slogan. <laughs> I was like, who's that? And he bought it for 800 cash a couple weeks ago. 
It's always business. I was gonna say, is this like, oh, no, not always business. Why is this looking like shite? I'm missing out makeout session times. <laughs> Maybe she's just in your room, away from prying so, father eyes. Ours, but I feel like his dad's definitely gonna walk in. Okay. Thank you, father. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Told ya. Sorry. He's gonna be surprised it's Veronica. No, I didn't realize you had company. The blue cord. Really good. <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I just get caught by my dad making out on the couch? Yep. Yeah, you got caught by your dad. I got caught by the star of Breaking Point and <laughs> Beyond the Breaking Point. Dick and, um, ah, uh, Cassie. Make a rep for it, Veronica! <laughs> yeah. Dick. You got a chick here? No, that's Trina's. It's possible you're <laughs> suffering out there. <laughs> oh, right, and, uh... <laughs> well, it's nice that he's helping. Yeah. For once, he's being nice. I was gonna go with you. Dude, no way. <laughs> you already blew us off in the water. Cock blockers! <laughs> we got business to discuss. I'm glad you two are together. I like what I see in him when he's with you. Oh, I do think she does bring out a very different side of him. Obviously, just that vulnerable side. I want you to go talk with Seth. He's got the best ex in school. Yeah, Try to frame the, that he's gay. You wanna experiment with me? I guess that's the plan. I mean, it's so shit. This plan is going to work. The soundtrack. Be intimate, and let Tad do the talking. He will tie his own noose, guaranteed. I wish I had you here right now, though, in my bed. He just started without you even pushing. Wait until after. Boom! The card Duncan bought. Just got a tip. Spotted outside Tijuana. Yale, baby. Well, at least you're happy that he's not going for another Alicia night. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to offer you a deal. The boardwalk? My tattoo? It's called pretending. I don't <laughs> That's why you need to go tattoo. And I swear, I never wanted to hurt you. You made me do it. Oh. Look, and if you make me do it again... She'll hurt you worse. Hey, Tad. Uh, I can't wait until after prom for our little... <laughs> or the Naval Academy. They'd kick me out if they ever found out. Seen enough? She does ruin people's lives a little bit, but this guy totally had it coming. For being a misogynistic asshole, disgusting pig. Full of fresh stolen parts, ready to go. People gonna see you being nice. Maybe it's about to come out. <laughs> you free Friday, maybe we could go out. Here? In Neptune? So what do you think about us skipping school Friday for a little ride on Dad's boat? Dinner and a movie? What is the word? A, a date? date? <laughs> nice of your dad to let us use his boat. Yeah, yeah, I think he actually likes you. <laughs> when you heard that stuff about your parents, I think he What? Probably... What stuff? Logan! No! What the hell, man? Ugh! Cock blockers of information now! <laughs> Divorce. Divorce? She thinks it's her dad. Or you can file for divorce on grounds of abandonment. Well, I think you need to talk to your dad, love. <laughs> okay, dad, I get it. You're happy. She, he should, she should have told him about the rehab. It is good. I don't know. Not, nah, he's still sent hey, it. Hi. I was he's wondering still if you're hungry. It. No. Because I thought you might want to suck on my popsicle. I think I would go home. Time to strike back. Maybe she doesn't want to. She's gonna close it, isn't she? Doesn't take people that long to use a trackpad, that's anyway. what I'm saying. You can't let him get away with it. I guess revenge just isn't my thing. And that's the difference that Meg pulled out to her as well all those episodes ago. Oh, oh, she's gonna be so angry at these freshmen. It's all fun and games until one of you gets my foot up your ass. <laughs> What's she noticing? Oh my god. I remember those stars and Chinese lamps. In fact, they're about the only things I remember from that night. Fuck! Year and a half no! I thought it was saying that... Was it him who did it? I thought that's what they were getting at. I guess we'll find out later. No more surprises, I promise. 
I just want you to be happy. But you should Dad. tell him. And I realize that may involve surprises. 23 a.m. December 7th, 2003. Was that the day? It was, wasn't it? Does that date mean something? Nothing. A bug. I found it in that house plant, which has been in my office for the last several weeks. That wasn't. You know who delivered it? Your son. Aww. Your son, Wallace. What do you want from me, bitch? <sighs> you destroyed Excuse my you. life. You took away the only person that I ever loved. I don't recall forcing you to send that video. You know, if I can't have her, no one can. That is. You are so lucky she has a better soul than I do because I would have taken you I'm down. I'm just so angry by this that I don't even want to talk about it. So, what are you going to cut me down if I apologize? Is that it? Nope. Who gave you the rehypnol the night of Shelley Palmer's party? Yeah, I know. You roofied your girlfriend, class with a capital K. There weren't any roofies, it was GHB. What's GHB? It was Logan Eccles. He gave it to me. There's that thing I told you about where it's all gonna go wrong. She's not coming. She's not coming, Logan. Well, I think this is gonna be the first character to know what happened. That's sweet. I don't think he did it though. Oh, I was waiting for something like that to, to put a stop in their little like blissful romance thing that was happening all right so here is what do he call it ghb psychoactive drug this is gonna look really weird on my internet history <laughs> oh well i'll do this in my own time but what i was gonna say is i don't think logan was the one who raped her i think he just was a supplier and someone else grabbed it and someone else spiked her drink. He's going to ask why didn't she come. And she's going to, you know, say some stuff. And then some things are going to come out. And that's going to be hard, I think, for her to say. And probably a little hard for him to hear. Not knowing all this thing had happened as well. And then realizing how much of a jerk he was to her. And kind of that he was somewhat a part of it. I thought when we saw those lanterns, it was going to be this, is it Tag or Tad? I thought it was Tag, like in Friends, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't really want to comment too much on on him because it's just disgusting and it's just, yeah, like, we all know it. I don't need to say it, how wrong and everything that was, everything that he kind of did and anyway. I just don't really want to talk about it because it legitimately like, makes me angry. And um, I think next episode might be about her trying to find out a bit more about what happened that night. Because now someone else is a part of it. Although we kind of know what happened to her with him. But still, there could be others possibly. And I think that might be what the next episode's going to be about. And then the last episode's going to be the big explosive um who killed her kind of thing next episode as well we're going to be focusing on a bit more of alicia and wallace and maybe alicia's going to break up with keith or maybe they're going to talk about it and veronica and wallace will come in and say what you know they played a part in and all that stuff but i'm not sure i'm just really thrown by this whole logan thing like i knew it was coming i knew something was coming but I'm still maintaining what I said before. Oh, yes. I think I'm just going to end this one here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so you don't miss out on the rest of the series reaction. And you can also check out some of my other content. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. That was weird. <laughs>